Well, look what we got here. We've got the Dyson DC-33. Now, this DC-33 is pretty interesting. Uh, actually, no, it's not. That's a lie. But what it is, is fixed. Thanks to this. Finally got one of these. And I basically took this and... Right in there. And now it works fine. Hi, boot. So, this machine... Hi, boot. Okay, going, are you going under the couch? Okay. So, I put a brand new clutch assembly in this Dyson. And, yeah, that, that's it. That's pretty much all I did. I already washed all of the filters and cleaned up the brush roll. I've used this a few times since fixing it. So, obviously, hair on brush, that's going to happen. I probably should replace this base plate. Some of these little wheels are kind of... Uh, these little wheels are seized, but I haven't ran it on my floors yet. And honestly, my floors are getting replaced, so I don't care if they get scratched. So, I put these attachments on it. These didn't come with it, but it does have both of them with it right now. The only cosmetic damage is little bits chipped off. And while it's loose, it still does hold. So, I got all that in place. And I've been using it the past few days since I fixed it. That's what the HEPA filter looks like. Probably could be changed, but I'm not going to bother. That looks perfect still. So yeah, whole thing is in... Semi-decent condition. This is the first Dyson out of that lot of the six Dysons that I got that I fixed up. I will clean some of, you know, this extra gunk before I sell it, but I'm going to use it for a little bit longer, make sure it works good, which has been working pretty good so far, and then I'll do the review on it, and then I'll clean up the last little bit of dust on it, wipe off all these paint marks, and throw it on Facebook, so... That's that. I don't know how much these are worth. I've seen these go for like anywhere from 100 to like $400. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it for like 180 200 I don't know. I also, so the, as far as what I've replaced on it, I did replace the clutch. And it was missing, the back hose was split. So I just replaced the entire hose. So that's that. We'll go ahead and give it a run. That's all there is to it.
Well, that's that. So, this is the Dyson DC33 multi-floor vacuuming the living room. Still looks the same. Hmm. Good job. Good job, buddy. Hmm. Looks fine. There was one little bit when I transitioned from the when I turned on the clutch while it was down, it made the ratchet noise for like half a second. I don't know if that's a cause for concern. Hopefully not. That's the only time it's done that, and I've used this for about the last week. So, should be okay, I would think. These things always had a tendency to do weird stuff. hose with no splits. Obviously it's dusty because I've been using it. Click that in there. Push this down. Oh, and I just clicked it. Press this red button to push the handle down. Push the wand down into the handle. There we go. This wand cap is flaky, but whatever. Doesn't affect the functionality of it. And as you can see, you can see the base pops up like it should, so the lower hose is on properly. See that right there? Didn't have to change that. Did the old flipperoo, and that took care of that. So yeah, this is the first, well, this is definitely the first Dyson that I successfully rebuilt with a new clutch this year, because the yellow 14, obviously, the clutch I got with that was bad. So, now is the part where I have to go through and change the clutches and all my old Dysons. That's a pain in the ass. But I have the tools and everything, so I've been able to do it. On this one, whenever I was changing it the other day, I was changing it in the bedroom because I wanted to just shut the door and turn on some music, be away from everybody and not have a camera on just so I could focus on getting it done. And uh, stripped the whole thing down in like not even a minute. And uh, But then by the time I actually got to putting everything back together, at first I rebuilt it without the clutch cover, so that was embarrassing. And um, so like I was putting the brush roll in and then realized oh no the clutch cover I didn't put that back on so I put that reverse everything put that back on using the the Dyson jig to pull the belt through the hole in order to be able to fish the brush roll through it and I was pulling it and I and it slipped off and I and it yanked my hand back and I whacked myself right in the face so that was funny uh so yeah in traditional Dyson fashion, this machine is great to use. It's nice and lightweight. It's easy to push, easy to pull. Even though this isn't a ball, it's very maneuverable. But working on this is an absolute bitch. So, yeah. That is that. And I managed to get everything apart without breaking anything. So, I found a good way to get... I, I try to use plastic pry tools on the clutch knob whenever I can from my foam repair kit so that way I don't scratch this or break the tabs that's something I always recommend so that way you don't break the tabs off on these knobs on this gray one it's not the biggest deal in the world because all the replacements are going to be gray but if you have like a purple or red or turquoise or some weird color on the, on these knobs you don't want to break that because you're not going to find a replacement unless you just happen to get lucky that seems kind of weird it doesn't like to like this doesn't seem proper, 
like I turn it up, you can see it doesn't exactly go all the way. I push it and it's, it's like there's two, it's like there's three settings. So there's carpet, bare floor, and then bare floor. That's what it feels like. I don't know if I did something wrong there. I mean, it looks fine. I don't know if, maybe I did something wrong, I don't know. But it works. So, oop. So it works, so that's the most imp important thing. There was at one point when this was jammed too, because I was messing with it and the valve did the weird slippy thing where it slips in the way and then you can't push the base up because it crunches on itself. But yeah, that's that. Now, I did also, for those wondering, I did cl completely clean out the cyclone. Although, now that I've been using it, I might have to do it again. But I don't know. I mean, if I already did it once with the tiny little bit of dust that might be in here, is that enough to bother? Uh, different techs that I've talked to seem to have different answers on this. Some people only tear them down if, it, if there's a smell or if there's a loss of suction or if there's an obvious reason to. And then there's some people that'll just do it every time no matter what just to be on the safe side. So, uh, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I'll do it when it's necessary and I'll do it maybe once. So I don't think I'm going to strip apart this cyclone again. Or maybe maybe I will just do a video on it. I don't know. Maybe you want to see that. I still have my other 33 that I could do that on as well. Because I have another one of these yellow ones. I had a blue one and I should have kept the blue cyclone because this yellow is ugly. It's, it's, it's very ugly. I can't stand the Dyson yellow color. I should have kept the blue cyclone from that blue one that I had ages ago that was completely dead. So I wish I had done that, but I didn't, so, which means that not only does this one have a yellow, but the one that's actually in my collection is also a yellow cyclone, which is annoying, but if I ever get one of these that's not yellow, I'm swapping the cyclones. So, yeah, that's that. But this is the Intellitech Studios, and this was the dice, what, what did I just say? So... This has been Intelltech Studios, and this is the Dyson DC33 Multifloor vacuuming living room after I repaired it with a brand new clutch. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. And, of course, as you can tell, this machine is being tested in preparation for a review. Let me know what other machines you want me to review, because there's a few machines on my short list, including this Dyson, the Ball Total Clean, the Kinetic, and a few others. Uh, not just Dysons, but other machines in general, like the Bissell Zing, and uh, I can't think of what else off the top of my head. Oh yeah, there's still some Hoovers I need to do. Both of the new Hoovers I got, I need to review still. I didn't return either of them, and I wish I did. So, this is Intelltech Studio signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. I'm going to go get some sleep. <laughs>